Hello, welcome to ePoster 706. My name is John Tyson. I'm an assay development scientist at Quantum DX. We are a molecular diagnostic company based in Newcastle in the northeast of the UK. And the team here have developed a molecular test for SARS CoV 2, and I'll be presenting our performance and clinical validation data. So, we've developed a molecular real time PCR test for SARS CoV 2 and prepared it in a LiveFlyers format. Each Lyophilized vial contains 100 reactions, and the simple workflow is to resuspend the Lyophilized master mix with water, dispense the center plates or tubes, and add the sample. The assay targets three loci in SARS CoV 2 the N gene, ORF1, and S. The assay was designed in March based on the then 10,000 genomes that were available, but it has since been verified on over 40,000 genomes. So, these three loci are predicted to give 100% coverage. And the three loci design means that uh, the assay should be robust against any future genomic changes. The assay also targets human RNAs P, which is used as a sample process control. This ensures that sufficient specimen has been collected and processed, reducing the chances of false negatives. This is particularly important as testing skills up, uh, around the world, as sampling errors can and do occur, but are often undetected. The assay is CIVD marked and has been validated on a range of extraction and thermocycling systems. So on the thermocyclers, it's validated against Kaijin's Rorschach Q, the Byrad CFX DX, as well as the Deepwell, and the Thermo Fisher Quant Studio, Thermo Fisher ABI 7500, and Ross Cycler, Light Cycler 480. On the extraction side, the, we verified against the manual Kyant Viral RNA Mini Kit, and on the automated systems, the Kyogen Kai Cube, Bromega Maxwell, and Roche Magnipure. I'll talk now about the analytical performance and then move on to the clinical sample testing. So the assay uses TACMAN real time chemistry on the FAM and HEX channels. It's validated for naso and oropharyngeal swabs with an extraction volume of 140 microliters. Five microliters of extracted RNA goes into the PCR. The primers have been tested uh, in silico, as I mentioned, and also uh, in wet testing for uh, cross reactivity. So, against 30 compensable potentially infectious organisms, no cross reactivity was, was observed. Uh, similarly, no interference was seen from 12 potentially interfering substances through the extraction systems. So on the left is an example of the amplification curves uh, given by the assay, and we have a confirmed LOD down to 10 input copies per reaction. This has been verified on a range of instruments and confirmed internally and externally, uh, as shown in the table on the left. So we've worked with partners in the UK and overseas to test performance against residual nasal pharyngeal swabs uh, across eight clinical sample sets. Testing partners include FIND and hospitals here in the UK, Newcastle, Manchester, and St George's in London. So across these eight sample cohorts, which total over 600 samples, we get a positive predictive agreement of 99.4% and a negative predictive agreement of 98.7%. This covers four different comparator assays as well as the range of instrumentation that's been previously mentioned. As I said, the assay has been CIVD marked. It also has MHRA approval. Uh, we've also submitted applications for US EUA as well as WHO EPA. So I'll conclude then. Thank you for your time. Please do contact us through the conference or directly if you've got any questions or would like further information. Thank you.